Good morning everyone and welcome to a new update and as you can see I'm not at my usual spot at we are at vacation during the entire week I'll be staying in Italy to enjoy some offline time as you might know that I have been very ill in the past few months and now we are grinding back up and just as the market is doing that but before we're going to continue make sure to subscribe beneath like this YouTube update and check out my Twitter and Instagram where you can find content on a daily basis and if you do like the content make sure to check out our trade letter and premium memberships which you can test for one week for free premium membership consists of my personal trades and even more trade IDs today we're going to cover a TA update and it's not going to be that long um, it's going to be a massive week so all through the week we are going to cover all the topics that you need to know tomorrow is going to be the first important one which is cpi data and then after that we've got eat merch coming up as well so it's going to be a crazy week for crypto and in the meantime we can see that the euro usd pair is bouncing back up and the dollar is dropping down which probably means that risk on assets are going to do relatively well and in that case we can see some volatility across the markets as right now we are seeing that bitcoin is showing the strength that we want to see although altcoins are suffering as those btc pairs are dropping down massively so we have to wait for bitcoin to actually start resting a little bit and then the altcoins can follow suit so let's dive into the charts so when we're looking at the prices of Bitcoin at this point, we can definitely say that we are seeing the scenario that we have been structuring uh, earlier, right? So we wanted to see a clear sweep of the lows, uh, potentially even deeper than we have been seeing right now. And we wanted to see a strong bounce taking place after. Well, that is the case. And actually, we are seeing way more strength than we were anticipating up front. And that strength is potentially coming from the fact that the euro USD pair is showing a ton of value and a ton of strength. So we have been watching euro USD and we have been claiming that the, these weeks in September are decisive for the trend to switch, right? So we have been seeing this massive downward strength on the euro. We have been seeing the dollar just showing a ton of strength overall. And right now we get to a phase where a bullish divergence is created on the weekly time frame for the euro usd bearish divergence on the dxy which can imply that the trend is over for the dxy or at least we're getting towards a temporary top which means that risk on assets are going to get more pace and in that case euro usd has been breaking through a crucial level which is massive and we want to see it sustain above that level of one 0.005 if that happens we can confirm or at least we are creating a higher low we can confirm that the trend is switching and then we can start targeting higher numbers here which would ultimately ultimately mean that bitcoin is going to continue the strength too this is the dxy index it is showing this weekly candle which is currently showing a bit more weakness overall implying that the risk on assets are going to be more attractive Second to that, the yields are not dropping down yet, but if these start to fall down too, that is going to be the moment that Bitcoin will continue to show strength. And we have been clearly giving you the trend or we have been giving you the scenario of sweeping the lows, which we have been doing here. We have been sweeping the lows overall for Bitcoin. Uh, we bounced back up and a short squeeze took place in which currently we are back towards 22.3, 22.2K. Does that mean that we're going to continue moving without any retest? Obviously not. What are the levels that we should be watching when it comes down towards Bitcoin at this stage? Well, we should be watching 22.8 and we should be watching the level at 24K. They, these are two zones that I'm pointing out here for potential resistance. And that could mean that we're going to test lower levels for some support before we can start breaking out and start aiming for 30K. Because this scenario looks like a double bottom structure and it looks like that we're going to have sustained strength. Although the most of you have been looking at a case of further downwards momentum. But in the other, on the other hand, we are actually seeing strength. And as everyone is betting on one outcome, usually the actual opposite is taking place. And that's what we're seeing right now. So if you don't have any position yet, I think... Altcoins are the place to go, but also you should be waiting until this one is going to consolidate and flip a few levels, which could be 20.8, but I think it's a little bit too deep for a correction. 
if we go all the way towards 23 to 24k i think you should be aiming for 21.6 to get that long going and right now we're simply going towards resistance points and if we're looking at lower time frames it's getting a little bit overextended i'm not saying that we go all the way back towards 19.5 it could be but then cpi has to be worse than we have been expecting but in this case we have been taking the highs here so if we lose the level beneath 21.8 again um, that's going to be a trigger for downwards momentum and then i'm assuming that we get beneath these lows here and then i'm targeting the level around 20.8 if we do sustain i'm expecting us to continue all the way towards the level here around 23.2 so then we can continue moving and then we can be looking for longs around 21.6 and that could also be a signal that altcoins are going to have some period of weakness right now lots of volatility on bitcoin which means that altcoins are showing their potential weakness on the bitcoin pair but they follow with the usdt pair at this point and also eth is currently falling down a bit in the bitcoin pair as we have been sweeping the high it is a question until bitcoin is going to calm down and that is going to be the period where altcoins are going to follow suit so when you're looking at the usdt pair of the altcoins they are just doing fine and they are eager to continue moving especially eat it is just consolidating here and it has to break this level around 1830 if it does we are looking at 22 next each merge coming up might be some volatility on the actual event taking place might be seeing a slight sell-off but then the trend just continues as it's a massive event for crypto so if we come back bitcoin is currently showing strength um, especially if we do continue to hold 21.8 it seems very likely that we're going to target the level around 23.2 and find ourselves a resistance there. If we do that, I'm looking at 21.8 still to sustain support. Um, if we do lose 21.8, I'm targeting 20.7 to 20.5 for the potential sweep of the lows here. And although if we get towards a resistance point and Euro USD and Bitcoin are going to calm down for a little bit, that's going to be a trigger for some temporary strength on the altcoins. Let's get towards the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this update. Tomorrow I'll be back with a fresh new one. And as I said, in the coming days, we're going to cover everything you need to know on this YouTube channel regarding CPI, regarding the ETH merge and more. So it's going to be crazy in the coming period. So that's why you could be checking out the trade letter and the premium membership, but also my other channels as during the week, I'll be covering most as well on Twitter. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy the content. And remember, don't do stupid shit and stay calm. I'll see you again tomorrow.